So this will be a simple, quick, but comprehensive tutorial on the M programming language. The M programming language is a, a pure functional programming. So if you want to learn uh, functional programming, this is actually uh, the programming language to go with. So today we are going to be building a simple web application in M. I'm going to be taking you step by step how to install AIM, set it up, configure, and then use uh, Visual Studio Code or IntelliJ, either of the two uh, will be okay. So M is quite an interesting programming language. So try to read the introduction because this course will be a practical one. So let's go quickly to the installation and setup of M. Now to install M, you need to have Node.js installed. So this is the procedure. So you have to install npm install m using this so me i already run this uh, this uh, uh, command so if i go to open the terminal so i actually need to yeah if i open a new terminal now and run the commands to check the m version you can just say m dash dash version you can see yeah sorry, sorry, sorry. you can see that i have m 0.19.1 so once you do this, you have M installed. Um, and after installing M, you need to also uh, install an extension, more like an extension that's going to give you some kind of code uh, editing um, um, support. So if I go to M here, under the extension uh, tab, you can see I actually did install this one, M tooling, okay? M, which is this M a language support of Visual Studio Code, actually it seems to be deprecated. So don't worry about this. Just install M, improving your M experience. I think we just call it M tooling. So install it, and we are already on it, uh, install it. So in case of Visual Studio Code, this is what you do. But in case of IntelliJ, you have to uh, follow this procedure as well. So in that, in that case, you have we are talking about plugin. Okay. So now let's uh, start a new application first. So actually starting a new application simply means creating a folder. So let me create a new folder. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on open folder and I'm going to documents. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call it M tutorial, M tutorial, uh, M tutorial one, because I already have M tutorial folder. M tutorial folder I already have, so I have M tutorial one. So there is a folder I created right now, and it's empty. Okay, so basically we've started our M application. So one thing you need to know is, is about the REPL. REPL is simply um, is short form for read, eval, print, loop. So it's more like an interactive way to run M program. So if I go to terminal and open my terminal here, you can simply run M interactively by using uh, that's M ripple and here you can now run M. So if I say uh, name is equal to kind son, you see it under it understands it. One second. Okay, it says the file is locked. I don't know why. So let me go one more time. M ripple x uh, is equal to four. Yeah, okay, it seems to be working now. Name is equal to kind son. Yeah, okay, so if you say y is equal to five, and I'll say x times y gives us 20. So this M ripple is a way to run M interactively uh, on the command line. So to come out from this, I'm gonna just simply use Control C, I think, or Command C. Um, I don't know, so I can just close this from here, okay. All right, let's try our first M program. So let's move next to the next topic, your first M program. So it's gonna be a simple Hello World program. So I'm going to come here in this my folder here, I'm going to go to terminal and open a new terminal one more time. Now, in the website, uh, it talks about using IntelliJ, but it's about uh, the same thing. So, here in my terminal, I'm going to um, simply say m init, m init. 
Now when you run this command, I, didn't, I don't think I captured this on my website. I think, yeah. For IntelliJ, I don't think you may have to use m init or you may use m init. But for VS Code, you need to use m init. And when you run this m init, it tells you, hello, m project always starts with an m.json. I can create it now. Okay, so it tells you it wants to create m.json. Actually, that is the only thing it's going to do. So it's basically m.json file is going to create, specifies the directory for the m source file. So I'm going to just hit enter key and say, okay, I created it. It says now read this link. Now, if you go to this link, it tells you more or less like the next steps to follow. But we are not going to be worrying about this. So you can see this created m.json. If you look at the m.json, one thing you want to know about this is the source directory is the src directory. So what it means is I'm going to be creating my m files inside the src directory. And it tells you about it, a few of the dependencies that are there. All right, so let's proceed to the next step. So we have these uh, lines here. I'm going to now create a new file. So it says, in case of IntelliJ, it's going to create a new file called main.m. But in, in case of VS Code, we are going to actually create it by ourselves. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it main.m. So in this file, I'm going to say module main main exposing main okay so it's more or less like um, a default export so that the functions in this file can be used elsewhere so i'm going to import as well html because we want to render something as a simple test to the screen exposing text now you can also say dot dot to expose everything in that uh, particular uh, package all right, so I'm going to now uh, say main equal to text. Hello world. All right, so we are done with our first program. So this is basically it. <laughs> so what happened here? This is a function that simply returns a text hello world. And if I compile it now, so let's compile and see what we have. I'm going to first of all say file, save everything, and if I go to compile, to compile an M program, you have to use mmake. So first I'm going to navigate inside the src folder, and I'm going to say mmake, and say main.m. And it compiled, and what you, what you see here is that it's created an HTML file here for you. You can see right here. You open this HTML file, it contains a whole lot of things. So it generated the, the HTML page as well as the JavaScript for it. Okay, so let's see. Let's view it in a browser. So to view it in a browser, normally you use mReactor. So mReactor starts a local server, so you can browse your applications, uh, application files. So if I say M reactor, it says, as you can see, it starts um, a server on localhost running on port 8080. So now if you go to the, you can see it right here. So here you go to M here, you see it uh, compiles and displays the content of your index page, which is hello world. Awesome. So if you come to this point, you've, you've actually succeeded in writing your first M program right so this is the much we can take we've talked about m reactor now in the next part let's now write our second m program and it's also going to be very interesting but let's take it uh do it in the next part i'd like to thank you for viewing please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and let me know if this has been informative for you